All right, so again, hot minute. I have just been not into sharing my planners, but see how it's November and new planner goodies are coming out. I am finally back into the groove of planning and sharing all of my goodies. So I have here is my um, personal rings planner, my new pocket, not pocket, passport travelers notebook, and my Hobonichi weeks. I have a couple other planners that I have kind of continued on with. So I'm no longer in my A6 Muji planners. Honestly, these are the, actually, these two are the actual planners that I'm currently really using. This is even a new edition, but I have been in this for a long, long time. Um, I mean, the setup has been the same for a long, long time, but this cover I just moved in um recently but yeah how long have i been using this so since october I still have my october dailies in here um i'm still using falafax dailies and what else do i want to share i'm just like all over the map this is an update so there's no, there's no really rhyme or reason of what i'm sharing but i will share with you some planner ideas so I'm in my personal and my personal is like my main planner that I use when I'm working. And then I was hoping to use my pocket, why do I keep on saying pocket? My um, passport as like my on the go. I set it up because I am going to Vancouver um, next week. So I kind of wanted like an on the go planner cause I don't think I'm gonna bring this giant thing with me. So I'm just gonna be bringing this with me. I just wanted somewhere to um, just do basic planning and journaling at the same time. Honestly, just an on the go planner. And I love seeing the photos on Instagram of this passport going on travels and I want the weathered um, Yubes leather look. So that's why I got this and as you can see it this one is quite weathered and used and I just love the Malden leather and how um, it has aged so I'm hoping that the passport can age as well and then I have the Hobonishi Weeks this is the Motum cover in apricot and I have not been using this planner I think the last time I used it I shared in my stories was like in the summertime and I just totally fell off Honestly, I think it was when my Instagram account, Rose's Planners, was hacked. And then I just was like, I hate planners. I don't want to deal with them anymore. And so I honestly just used what I really needed, which was my personal rings. And so I stopped kind of like memory keeping. I just like literally fell off the face of the planner, um, the planet, the uh, planner world. So that was when I stopped using my Hobonichi weeks. But I really want to... Um, use it for 2023. I actually have, maybe I'll just do an unboxing. I got this in the mail and it has two Hobonichi weeks in here, the mega and the regular. Um, I should just open it. This is going to be like a crazy unboxing planner update. So I'm going to be all over the map. You can watch me manhandle um, this opening. So I got the the purple mega in English and the pink um, regular. And wow, that's like really bright. If you can see how pink that is, it's almost like it's almost orange. <laughs> I don't know if I like it. <laughs> um, I don't know, maybe I'll do a giveaway or give it to a friend. I don't know. This one looks really good in the apricot. This one does too, but I actually got the 2023 of this design. Um, it's not going to be exactly the same, but I got it off eBay and it is by the same individual. Um, I think he has a learning disability. And so what he did was write out the months and the dates, obviously here. And then, um, I don't really know the backstory, but I thought it was a really beautiful story. And so I, I really wanted to support the artist. So I actually got the 2023 and of of this same um, person that I can't talk <laughs> that like worked on this cover. So that is on the way. Oh, I have no idea why I got these two. I just think it would look beautiful, in, like the white Moterm cover. And then this, I've always gotten pink, but this is kind of like a salmon. I'm just not feeling that color. Anyways, 
So those are my Hobonichi weeks. What was I gonna say? Oh yeah, I'm also, I'm not also, but let me grab it. I have this A6, <clears throat> excuse me. So I have this A6 Hobonichi, um, not a vac, it's kind of like the English version. And I got it for literally $2 at um this local stationery shop and let me just show you so i literally it was on sale because it's like the end of the year but i just wanted to see if i would like being in an a6 hobonichi again uh because i have been in the past but i just never could find like my groove and i feel like now that the pressure is not on it's the end of the year and i got this notebook for two bucks i i kind of do like it um here are just a couple pages again i'm not sure if i'm gonna get it but i feel like i found my groove with this so if i ever did want to try the size again i have this book as a reference just to see like like what layouts that i use and i, I actually do like it i posted a couple pictures on my instagram which is new actually um i changed the name it was like so before i got hacked it's called it was called rosie's planners and then i had to start up a new account to Rosie's many planners and then I changed the name to something a little bit smaller and and now I'm just called Rosie's plans so anyways I posted this in uh, my um Instagram feed and I, I do like it again I'm not sure I'm kind of torn whether or not I do want to include it in my lineup but yeah and I also have this like supplement weekly a6 and again I was using it as like memory keeping but then it was just I don't know it was just getting too much and I just didn't feel like doing it anymore. So I just have this randomly in here. Again, I might do a couple more spreads to see if I do like it and find my groove. I think I did find my groove. It's just like keeping up with it, you know, like I just didn't have the time to like do this all. But who knows? Maybe I might get more creative and want to do it again. So yeah, that is my A6 update. <clears throat> I do. Oh my gosh. I'm not sick. I'm not sick. I just had some dairy and I get kind of like congested when I have dairy. So that's why I'm like clearing my throat. I do have this mini, mini file of facts that I am thinking of bringing with me to Vancouver and as a wallet. So look at that. Isn't that cute? They look so good together. I might set this up. If you've seen my previous video on it before, I will probably have the same setup just being used as a wallet with my cards and like a space for notes. But yeah, I think it'll be really cute to um, put this in my lineup. So my current lineup or my current aspirations of a lineup for 2023 would be um, everything that you see here. So personal rings for work and like um, kind of like an even extension planner, my hobo weeks for, I don't know, like memory keeping, then my traveler's notebook passport size for on the go planning, and then my mini rings as my wallet. And I think that's a pretty decent lineup. I think that's going to be my lineup. I think <laughs> I'm saying, I think a lot, I will probably make a youtube video on my 2023 lineup when it's more concrete but for now this is what i'm thinking so i've talked about my lineups i'm going to talk about my traveler's notebook now so i'm probably going to do a more in-depth um review on this cover i was hoping to film an unboxing and then i don't know i just was too impatient and it's just trying to find the time to do it and the drive to do it so I'm not sure if you guys know, I still have a full-time job. So when I'm free, I kind of just want to veg out and like not do anything and scroll and just relax. Um, and then, yeah, like just finding the drive to want to film uh, during the times that I have off is, yeah, it's just hard. Anyways, enough about that. This is my traveler's notebook passport that I got a couple weeks ago. My oldest actually got this for me for Christmas. And then... I was like, oh, you know, I really want to set this up. And she's like, oh, you know what? If you do set this up, like, yeah, go for it. But I'm not going to get you another, um, oh my God, there's a mark. I'm not going to get you another, uh, expensive present. This is going to be the only present that you're going to get, but that's like in the same price point. I'm like, yeah, that's fine. You're 14. Like, I know. <laughs> Anyways, 
oh my gosh, I have a mark on it already. Uh, oh, well. Anyways, I set it up, semi-set it up. There's still things coming in the mail. I really like that vintage um, stuff that they put in it. Like, you know, like the, the like pretty stamps and such that you typically would see in, in a traveler's notebook. So I have a couple things and I've actually ordered something off Etsy, which is more um, like vintage looking, like authentic vintage from Saskatchewan or some prairie state. I'm in Canada, so some pr prairie state or um, state uh, province. And so I haven't really decorated that much. I can go over it really quickly. Maybe I'll like even show you um, the stuff that I got um, with, we actually have like a paper store in Victoria, somewhere local where you can get Traveler's Notebooks and Filofax inserts and even planners. So that's where we got it. We got it in person. So we got this like brochure of like the 15th anniversary of Traveler's Notebook and I can't read it obviously. Um, I just have this and then I also got a whole bunch of things so I don't know what to do first should I go through a flip first anyways maybe I'll go through a flip so I don't have anything personal here so here I have um, an adhesive pocket with a sticky note and the sticky note I got from a place called gifty which is another local store here that sells a cute like Japanese um, imported like stationery and candy and stuffies and then a photo of um, my oldest daughter and Edward my Cavapoo and I'll show you the adhesive stickers so I got the adhesive stickers from that papery store and I got this for seven dollars this is like before tax and it came with like three different sticky notes why don't I just go over like the price of everything as well so that you can see like how much I spent on this traveler's notebook and then I have this um oh my god plastic sleeve here for photos and I still have the package here let me see and that was let me see here mm. See, I kept all my packages because I was going to do like a full unboxing and like setup, but then I was like, no, I want to set this up now because I can't wait. Like, I just can't wait. So, I think the plastic thing was, I'm not sure. Let me just put all the packages here. I've got so much stuff. The craft paper, the actual book, um, the Hobonichi. So, the Hobonichi, like 75% of the mark price it but literally it was like two bucks i think they just like adjusted it because like it was the year was pretty much over so i got this for super cheap but let me find that clear thing i wonder where it went i don't know i honestly don't remember how much it was it probably wasn't that much probably like comparable to this like seven dollars or something so anyway so i had that clear thing and then, oh no, it's this. Oh my gosh, it's been here the whole time. Yeah, so $7 for this thing. And then a craft book, which is grid. I got that for, it's a dot grid notebook. I got that for another $7. And then I have this cute little date book that fits perfectly in here. And I know um, a traveler's company has like a monthly insert, but I it didn't start until January, I think. And that's why I got this one because it started in November or October even. Yeah, so it started in October, which is perfect. So that's why I got this thing. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get the 2023 like proper traveler's notebook monthly because I have this one. So it's kind of like no point. And I got that one for like 13 bucks. And then the next insert that I have is that um, red one that comes with the notebook. Um, that's like completely blank. So that was like free. That was included. The actual passport itself was $60 and it came with like the cotton bag and the, the red reef refill. And then it came with a green elastic. But what I did, because there's an actual elastic that comes in this box. I'll show you. So you it comes with a green elastic, but there's an elastic that comes out that like goes that wraps around the actual box, and I actually decided to use that. So we get the green one too. So this is the green one. I actually use it as a jump band. So the one that goes 
so that I could connect my first and second notebook. So that's what that's for. And then what else do I have in here? And then I have this craft like um, envelope, not envelope, folder thing. And that cost, I don't know how much did that cost. I think it costs another $7. Do I have the package for that? I'm not sure. Let me just find it here. Grid, envelope. I think it costs like $7. Like I'm so sure it does. I don't really have that pack. Oh, here it is. The package here. And this costs, again, $7. So that's pretty like decent priced. And then I got the clip. And he got me the clip. And that cost 25 bucks. And then I got the pen holder to match. And that costs 18 bucks. It's not bad. Not bad. I did get a couple other things when I was there. So I bought this passport size grid that was six bucks and then um some other stuff so index sheets another seven bucks and these hobonichi stickers um which is like double-sided tape for on the go like if i wanted to stick things so i have a sheet here and this is what it looks like i used two already and yeah, that's pretty much my traveler setup. I'm probably going to go through it with more detail in another video. This video is already like going quite long. I got a couple other stuff though when I was at the paper store. I got this vertical um, weekly insert. Oh my gosh, you can see myself. Uh, I, again, it was like really cheap. I think this one was actually free. I just wanted to test it out. And then I also got these Filofax A5 inserts. Again, I just wanted to test them out. It's kind of like an hourly, but you can see a whole week. Because it was free, I thought I would just try it out, even though I'm not in A5 size. So that's why I got that. And yeah, I'll just open this up to show you guys what it looks like. I took a sneak peek when I was at the shop, but I'm, I'm still not sure if I want it. But this is what the out... Um, out the layout looks like again I'm not really in this type of layout I tried to do it in that a6 supplement it has like the hourly thing for memory keeping even but I'm still I don't think I'm gonna be in that size what else comes in here oh it came with like, like this these two large stickers um yeah it's cute and then what else did I get what else did I get? I think I think that's pretty much it when it came to the like paper store. Oh my gosh, this video has turned into like random randomness. Like complete randomness. Okay. So that's figured out. And then the sticky is I showed you that. I also got the Aura Estelle. Tomo River paper A6 and the week size and I'm just gonna open it up so this turned into like a goodies unboxing planner update like life update kind of deal and like the update on like what happened when my account got hacked I think I went over that I, I got hacked okay like it wasn't great and I cried for numerous days but yeah so it's two bucks I don't want to go talk about it anymore. <laughs> okay, there's two bucks. Um, the first half is December to June, and then the last half is July to December. And I really liked how it was dated and how it's not the layout was different. So wow, this is cute. Shows you like an example of what to use it for or how to use it. And then you have a yearly overview. Oh, great. It has starts from October. And then 2024, even the first bit of 2024. So some blanks. This is great for like goals and stuff like that. And it goes straight into December. And then you can plan. Wow. Oh, in November. It starts like November 28th. And then it goes into December. So there's a day per page. So I really like that. In comparison to like the Hobonichi weeks. I'm just going to open it. Um, well, this is the English version. So this is the first time Hobonichi came out with like a English version, I think. 
Oh my gosh. Can I just figure this out? I'll just take this. Oh, I don't think I'm going to use the Mega. The Mega is like way too big. I'm just already looking at it. I don't know if I like that feeling. It's very scratchy. I feel like I can like file my nails. Okay. So I love this version because this cover because it's smooth. But um, you can see here the size comparison. Oh my gosh. I'm like all over the map. Thank gosh this is like a relaxed kind of chat. Okay. So this is the mega and the regular. And then this is the first volume. Let's see here. I like how the paper's whiter. More white. I like that. It's more bright. It's like a stalogy paper. Yeah, it's the same size as the um the mega really nice so what was i saying yeah there's a day per page and then the back notes oh and there's like notes pages too in the back just a couple but nice nice again i'm not sure if i'm going to use this i just really wanted to see what it looked like i got this um, before I even order my Hobonichi week. So it's, I don't know. Planner chaos, right? I love this time of year, but I also hate this time of year. I feel like I'm spending too much money on myself rather than like on others on Christmas presents, but it is what it is. And then I've got the Aura Stell A6 as well. So it's not a day per page. I think there's like numerous, like I think it was like blank pages. I don't know. We'll see comes in this box and so look at that that's pretty that's really pretty i love the black covers and it's dated and shows you like how you can use it so i really like the paper it's really pretty i'll pull out the show you a comparison of size so this is like barely used it's a great way to compare um there we go i don't know why i did that i could easily have gotten paper cut so this is the size difference so aura tells that one there and then that is the hobonichi weeks more rounded corners and yeah is this paper more white than the hobonichi weeks yeah, it is. How did I not ever realize that? Anyway, it's the same color as, as this. All right, so let me just put this back. I don't want to like deal with this after I finish filming. It's just like so much stuff. Okay, let's put that back. Oh, and this cover is from Foxy Fix. Um, I think this is the whiskey leather. You can see here the color difference. Oh, I love shades of brown. It's beautiful. Okay, so year at a glance, couple blank pages, and then December again. And then this is what I really like. So the reason why I never really like Salogies. Do I have a Salogie on hand? Uh, okay, anyways, maybe I should get it. Hold on. Do, 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 do. No, I don't have a salvagey. I just looked. Can you hear me hunting? And I only have this like Midori notebook that's dated, but it's like free. It's like more yellow. This is not a good comparison. So don't have a salvagey with me, but I feel like this is, I don't have a salvagey, so I can't really compare. Is this kind of like an A6 half? I'm not sure. Anyways, so I just like how every page has, like every page that has a week's, has um a calendar and then a blank section and then dated week here and then it's like free so like you just write you get like one you get one two three pages where you don't have to fill it up unlike the weeks where like you have a day per page i really like that but yeah i'm not even really in an a6 size i don't know why i got it i mean it would fit really well in here you can even have Instead of the Hobonichi week, um, not the weeks, 
So having the Hobonichi A6, you could just slip this in here as well. And then you could have like a supplement too. I can't believe a full year. You have a full year in here. That's lovely. I like that. I like that a lot. But yeah, I think that's it with planner updates. I do want to set up my mini rings. I'm currently in the, not currently, but a lot of the stuff that I have for the mini rings, let me pull it out, is in, where are you, where are you, where are you? Hmm, I don't think I have it with me. I thought I did. I thought I had the mini, like the Malden rings. Hmm. I guess I won't set it up right now. I think this is enough for like an update. Just kind of like lurking around to see if it's here. But yeah, what the heck? I thought I did have, I thought I did have my Malden with me here so odd I was so sure I did so that I could do like a transfer while I'm like filming but I guess I can just do that later wow I'm like now I don't know where my Malden mini is because I thought I'm filming at my mom's house and I thought it would be here and now it's not here I was so sure I did anyways so I had this little cozy um, it was mailed to me from a friend for my mini. Isn't that cute? So I was thinking of putting it, putting this in here, but I think it might not be big enough. Unless I do it like this. Oh my gosh, isn't this beautiful? Isn't that cute? Okay, so that was a really long planner chat. Oh yeah, obviously I got the pen that comes with the uh, whole thing you need. But now I'm lost. Like, I don't know where I put that mini Malden. Because I have the, all, all my Maldens have the babies. So every personal I have, I have a personal and a pocket and a mini all together for the ochre and the stone. I did have it for the black Malden, but the new leather, the black Malden, I'm not feeling the leather I will, I have a video of me like unboxing it and I did at first really like it, but the leather is weird. Like I, it just didn't really, it, I didn't really like it. So yeah. Anyways, I think that's it with my whole planner update. If you enjoyed that video, I don't think I'm going to make a crazy video like this again, but if you like planner contact, please like this video and subscribe to my channel as well. I have a lot of messages to reply to because I just have been so bad with like YouTube as a platform. But I will get to your questions on my other videos as well. But yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And I hope I will be able to film a video soon. Until next time. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.